Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. Today we're going to talk about God's provision, and He is our portion. Lamentations 324. The Lord is my portion, says my soul, therefore I will hope in Him. Quite a few years ago, when I was visiting my parents for a couple of weeks, my mom asked if I would take care of the neighbor's pets, and that wasn't an unusual request. My parents' neighborhood was the old-fashioned type where the neighbors knew each other, they all had each other's house keys, and they all took care of each other's animals when other people were gone. And so, key in hand, I wandered across the street and let myself into a familiar home. When I walked in, I felt perfectly at ease, and their new pets, although they had not met me before, got a sense that I kind of belonged there. And so after a couple of good ear scratches and a couple of tummy rubs, I put the dogs out into the backyard, and their cat followed me into the kitchen, meowing, hopefully. She was hungry, but I stopped short as soon as I entered the kitchen. What I saw was unusual even for this couple who really didn't do a lot of cooking because they traveled an awful lot and they were really into takeout. This is what I saw. The cat's dishes sat on the table and the dishes were pushed kind of toward the back of the table. Uh, one set of dog dishes was placed on the bench that was tucked behind the kitchen table and another set of dog dishes lay on the floor just in front of the kitchen sink. I knew this couple and I knew that they didn't use their kitchen but I have to admit I was taken aback. I glanced at the instructions on the fridge and it appeared the largest dog had a previously undiagnosed eating disorder that didn't show itself until they took their second dog home. Their beloved old pet became an absolute bully at mealtimes. Not only did he try to eat the new dog's food, he began to harass the cat, who they had been really good friends before. As the larger dog couldn't get behind the table, they put the smaller dog's food on the bench, safely out of reach and sight. And the cat, traumatized by the change in the behavior of his old friend, needed her space as well. The smaller dog was an anxious eater, I wonder why, and tended not to eat much when the larger dog was around, even though he couldn't get at the other food. So they usually kept the larger dog outside while the younger one ate so he could enjoy his meal in peace and quiet. And so I set out dinner for the cat and the smaller dog and visited with the larger dog in the backyard. Although he was a sweet old soul, his anxiety could really be felt. After a few Minutes, I ushered him into the kitchen and the other animals wolfed down the last bit of food and they fled into the living room. The old dog's insecurities affected his entire household. His insistence that whatever was set aside for the other dog or cat had to be better than what had been set aside for him. This endangered not only his health, but the health of the other pets. Unlike this dog, I am not supposed to be controlled by my insecurities or fear of lack. My Heavenly Father supplies all my needs after all. I enjoy every morsel He sets before me, and I feast at my own pace without fears that others will take the portion He has set aside for me, for He watches over me. My portion is my portion alone, a special gift from him to me, perfectly designed for my needs. 
he will never give my portion to another and my portion will never run out at any time I can choose to return to his table and I'll find something new there waiting just for me I need not fear that others will lack because of his generosity toward me and when others receive I don't need to be afraid or anxious that his abundant generosity towards me will run out. Psalm 23, we all know it very well, but when I read it to you now, read it in the assurance that God's abundance toward you will never run out. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall want that could translate to, I shall not lack. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Lots of stuff to feast on. He leads me beside still waters. Lots to drink from. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And because he is with me when I am at the table, I don't need to be intimidated by any of the enemies of my heart. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Even if as I was trying to lap up everything that was overflowing from the cup, it would still be filled up again and again and again. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever.